What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server on my main account. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the bazaar today. Also, if you do plan on making a purchase in Castle Clash, today is one of those days where you're going to want to go ahead and do it. And I will explain why. On top of that, I'm going to be rolling traits for my man, John Bear. I want to get him settled up for HBO because I figured like it'd be a little bit of fun to go ahead and hang out with the big boys and go for a record in HBM AK. So I'm going to be setting up an HBO HBM base sooner than later. The current record over here on iOS is, what is it, 4 minutes and 22 seconds. Seems honestly pretty solid overall, but definitely seems like it's something fun to go after. Now, before I get into this video, I wanted to quickly talk about something. Um, just recently, I actually went out to dinner with Ashley, and another YouTuber at the restaurant recognized me. He's like, hey man, uh, do you mind if I actually do an interview with you for my YouTube channel? I have a podcast type channel. Of course, I'm like, sure man. Gave him my phone number. He contacted me that I went over to his house and actually did the interview. I love supporting other YouTubers, especially somebody that came up to me like this. So yeah, if you guys don't mind, check out the video. It's like an hour long. It talks about the whole, basically like the entire, um, my whole entire life, basically like where I started and how I became a full-time YouTuber and where I'm at now. So yeah, if you guys are interested, please check out the video. I am going to link it in the description below. I would appreciate that. Leave a like on the video. Also subscribe to the man's channel and leave a comment on what your thoughts are uh, of the video just because I'm curious to know what you guys think. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the fact on why I think today is such an amazing day to make a purchase. All right, so the number one reason is because shopping spree is today, but not only because shopping spree is today, it's also accumulation bonus. So what that means is if you go in and let's say you spend 10 bucks in this game, you will then get the 200 magic powders. You'll also get the 20 level uh, 10 talent runes. You'll also get the superior trait cards and the sage lioness crystals. Not only that, you also get the extra gems plus whatever else is right there. But you will also get two attempts at shopping spree, which has some of the best rewards in the game. And sim perfectly, I mean, uh, perfectly, not, that's not the right word. What I needed on my account was igniting stone. So, of course, I went in the shopping spree and snatched up the igniting stones, which is obviously very easy to do. This stuff resets every two hours. So, in 25 minutes from now, if I want, or I am, I'm going to go ahead in here and snatch up the rest of igniting stones. Now, they only have a limited stock for certain items, right? So, it's kind of hard to get... Just all your igniting stones. Let's say I did make a hundred dollar purchase today, so a hundred dollar purchase comes with twelve spree chances. So I was able to get, I think, five in on the first attempt, and then four in on the second attempt, which obviously is still a ton. I think it gave me something like what fifty thousand igniting stones. So let's go ahead and just take a quick peek at what all I got from my purchase today. Now I did get the entire accumulation bonus. Plus, I bought the uh, Final Flash Cell Pack. Now, just so you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead and claim it all at once. So, we got 1,200 Magic Powder, which is insane. About 100,000 worth of gems, which is crazy. 500 of the new Pet Hatchlings, which honestly, I don't really need because those are sold everywhere. You also got 2,500 of the Pet Snacks, which obviously is very nice. Then you got a lot of little rewards. You got 30 at Level 9 um, Insignia Bags, which is pretty insane. But not only that, you got 20 of the new Keramic Rocks. You also got 12 of the new Insignia Stone, 600 Castle Chest, which is insane because that's the Castle Clash, uh, that's the Castle Chest that most people need, right? It comes with the books, also Igniting Stones and Zenith Stones, which is very nice. You also get 320 of the Rambard Scraps, which is kind of whatever. You also get 3,000 Spawning Agents. Everybody in this game pretty much needs Spawning Agents besides like one or two players that have maxed out accounts. And then there are my Igniting Stones, 35,000 in total, and I got 15,000, so I'm obviously capping on igniting stones and just simply can't collect the rest now i did want to collect or open up something that i've been waiting to open up on video because it's an insane amount we got 25 of the thanksgiving chests now however i do already have rambar but i would not mind the second one so i'm gonna open up these chests right after i open up these insignia bags as well i didn't realize i had 224 level 9 insignia packs which honestly doesn't really mean anything because there's level 10 insignias at this point i'm sure within the next update we're actually going to be able to buy level 10 insignia bags which is kind of whatever i haven't really up actually i haven't upgraded any of my insignias from 9 to 10 yet no specific reason why i've just been a little bit lazy and i am going to get to that sooner and later and actually make a video on it too going over all the stat changes and whatnot seems like something fun to do all right so let's go ahead and open up the Thanksgiving chest one. I might as well open up. I'll open up five of these solo and then we'll open up uh, 20 at once. 
All right, so for the first five, give me 30 pieces. All right, we'll take 10. 10's not bad at all. If we keep getting 10s, we'll end up getting Rambard. Come on, we got five, five, 10. What else we got? We got 30. Thank you. We'll take the 30 piece and then a two. All right, so let's go ahead and open up all 20 at once. Come on, baby. What do we got? We got 54 and 65. Seems pretty weak all in all. So as a total, what do we end up with? Like 172, I'm guessing. 171. That was a pretty freaking good guess. Did a little bit of quick math in the head. All right, so we got 171 Rambard Soul Stones from 25 of those Thanksgiving presents. Doesn't seem all that bad because they do actually hand out quite a bit of presents um, from most of all the bazaars. All right, so I do have... Egg Hatchathon, and just to get into it right quick, just in case anybody, if you guys don't know, said this in other videos, you can simply click, on, or if you are a pay-to-play player and you have a free-to-play account like me, you can see what the tokens are worth, or if you're just a free-to-play player in general, these eggs hatch the exact same thing every time you hatch them in the specific order, and the order as of lately has been, it goes out Boogeyman, then comes out Ashura, then comes out the Keramic Rocks and Demo Gorgon, so if you have four coins, you can click this four times, and then there's your boogeyman. Boom, here comes the Ashura, and then here comes the Keramic Rocks. Oh, Demo Gorgon's actually third in line. Wow. So I could potentially get Demo on my free-to-play if I wanted right now, and boogeyman, because the only thing is I'd have to waste one coin for Ashura, which is kind of sad times. And honestly, I'm just holding on to my coins until I can hopefully eventually get Levanica. I'm just praying, boys. Oh, actually, we got more chances. We might as well finish up the chances, and then we'll get into some trait action. All right, what do we got? We got there's the Keramic Rocks, which honestly, I need some of those Keramic Rocks on this account because I used up all my Keramic Rocks. All right, so we got Apex Crystals. Those are always good to see. Superior trait cards are always nice. Uh, we got some more Keramic Rocks. So the Golden Egg, we got Savalin, so it feels bad, man. And then there is another Demo Gorgon. All right, let's go ahead and collect all this stuff. Nice, 2,000 Apex Crystals. We'll take it, plus six Superior trait cards. We'll go ahead and use those. Right now, for my man, John Bear. If you guys don't know, I am going to be going for Dodge on this man. So before I roll Dodge, let's actually unlock this trade as well. Let's go ahead and get two five-star Dodges. Come on, baby. Hook it up. Dude, five-star Dodge is, in my opinion, the hardest thing to find. I haven't seen a single five-star Dodge on my main account. And I've rolled a lot of these traits. So I want to at least roll until we get two of the same five-star. Come on, make it a die. Ooh. Oh, crit damage feels bad. HP, no thank you there. Accuracy and HP again. Junk. Come on, four star dodge, four star crit. If we do get a five star dodge and something else, so I'm probably just gonna keep it as is for my man Jump Bear as of right now. Come on, man, give me that five star dodge. Two five star dodges. Come on. Five stars dodges. No, that's trash. Five star accuracy, four star accuracy. Where's the two five star dodges at? That is junk as well. More junk. Four star and five star attack. Two four stars. Come on, baby. Five-star crit, four-star HP. You hate to see it. Man, we can't even see a five-star dodge in the house. We got five-star attack, five-star HP. Four-star dodge, five-star accuracy. Two four-star accuracies. Another five-star attack, four-star. Come on, man. Where's the two same five-stars? We haven't seen anything the same. Four-star, five-star accuracy. There's a five-star dodge with a four-star. Come on, right here. Oh, two, four, five-star crit resist. I could go with crit resist instead for my jump bear. Man, that would be a crazy move. Is crit resist the new metal boys? Or should I just stack dodge? Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm. Crit resist. Let me read uh, Jump Bear's skill one more time because I might can stack full-on crit resist. The only thing I'm really planning on using Jump Bear for is HBM. And I already know that Jump Bear with dodge is pretty solid in HBM. I am going to be running Flame Guard on him, which does deflect 55% 50, of the damage taken. All right, so let's go ahead and read his skill. We got... Limits damage taken to 19,000 per hit for four seconds. All right, so just with that alone, he already limits the amount of damage taken, so I definitely don't want to go with crit resist from my man Jump Bear. So that right there lets me know that we need to change this. So let's go ahead and roll a couple more because I'm feeling two five-star dodges coming up next. Come on, baby. Ugh. Hit me with the two five-star dodges. Crit resist again? Straight trash, bro. Two five-star crits. All right, well, we got two of the same. Let me just roll a couple of these on Ripper just in case the dodges are hiding out. I want them to show up for my boy Ripper right here. Come on, two five-stars. Nope, junk, junk. Five-star accuracy and HP. That's trash, dude. Five-star dodges don't exist. Two of them, anyway. Well, a single five-star dodge exists, but not two five-star dodges. Come on, do they exist? Prove me wrong, IGG. We got 30 more cards. Come on, prove me wrong right here. 
not today, not today, not today. Five star, four star accuracy, that is junk. Five star attack, five star crit. All right, fine, let's move back to my boy Jumbear and let's see how many gems it's gonna take me to actually get 